bless. Glow course, I tell us it. Bless. Bless, 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 bless. You will shine like every day. Every day. Every day. You're protecting in every way. That's why I'm missing your bless. That's why I'm missing your bless. The unblessed. Better than the rain. Yeah. Better, better, better. Whoa, whoa, yeah. We say you're blessed. Keeping it real. Be unblessed. Be unblessed. Hi, guys. Are you feeling down today? Then welcome to my channel where you have an open invitation for inspiration. So, five scriptures to help you realign your purpose with God. As I discuss these five scriptures, I pray that they will encourage and bless your soul. So come on, let's get into these five scriptures right now. The first scripture is Romans 12 verse 2. And be ye not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So the word of God is saying that we should not be conformed to the world, right? We should not be conformed to the world. And for us to have change, the change must come in our mind first. We need a renewed, renewed mind. So to realign your purpose with God, you need to set your mind right with God. You need to seek out what you want from God. Seek out the things that are of God and start living a life that separates you from the things of the world. So I tell you today, start the process. Start the renewal process in your mind and let the Lord lead you along the way. So our second scripture is from Jeremiah 29 verse 11. It says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, see the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Oh, glory to God. So God has a plan for you, a plan that entails good for you, nothing evil. And so when you're going to realign your purpose with God, you need to re be reminded that God always thinks of your best interest at heart. When the enemy comes in like a flood and wants to deter you from believing in the word of God, remember that the Lord says he has an expected end for you. He desires peace and not of evil, right? To give you that, uh, that expected end. So continue to trust God. Continue to believe in God. We need to realign our purpose with God. To know what we want from God. What we expect from God. Because God doesn't expect us to just sit back and say, Okay, Lord, I'm not going to do anything. He wants us to do our part. Scripture number 3, Romans 12 verse 1. I beseech you therefore, brethren... By the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Re See, your body is a temple of God. This is where the Holy Spirit dwells. And it says that we need to preserve our body. We need to preserve our body. So, I know that... When you're living in sin, we tend to abuse the temple of God. And so I just want to encourage you today that you need to align yourself with God. You need to ensure that when the Holy Spirit wants to dwell within you, that that temple is prepared and waiting. That temple is sanctified. That temple is pure. Start living your life to please God. There is no other way. There is just no other way but the way of the Lord. And the minute that we recognize that and accept that, then we know that we are on the right path. 
we can also use first john 4 verse 1 he said beloved believe not every spirit but try the spirits whether they are of god because many false prophets are gone out into the world so we are to recognize that ev not every spirit that is of god right the word of god said we need to try the spirit you need to try the spirit so don't tell me that you can't speak to whatever comes before you and seek out to know if this is from god because sometimes the enemy sits on our shoulder and whisper in our ears and tell us things that we tell ourselves that this is from god some persons come around us and they preach and they preach and say that they are carrying a message from god but the bible said we need to try the spirit because there are false prophets out in the world and we need to recognize that the word of god is 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 true the word of god is true so try the spirits that come around you today and now the last scripture comes from matthew 5 verse 16 says let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven hallelujah so we are literally not living for ourselves we need to let our light shine we need to you know when our friends see us when our peers or relatives you know or co-workers when those persons that are around us see us they should see the glory of god they should be able to say there goes a child of god and i want to you know emulate that person so we need to let our light shine you know i love these scriptures i love these scriptures because they help with getting you back on track when it seems like you're lost just turn to these scriptures and realign your purpose what consumes your mind controls your life the truth remains that you will become what you think. Are you looking to God or are you praying to him while your mind is on other things? You have to fight against these distractions. You cannot serve God while your heart and your mind are consumed with everything else. Sometimes you have to sit silently in prayer until your heart is aligned with God's. You have to wait for his presence and say, God, I just want you. God, I need you. You have to. You know, many of us struggle with so many things and are being weighed down by the trials of life. If you would just focus on God, you would understand that these things are just so small in comparison to God's awesomeness. Hope you enjoy this video.